Hey y'all, what's up? Catch Straw Vlogs here. Yeah, as you can tell, my motor's torn down. I had a tad bit of an oil leak. As you can probably tell from all that crap that's all over the place. Riding to school. Yeah, I finally did a pod setup. Riding to school. And yeah, I got a little bit of a surprise. Turn on the flashlight. Scooter decided didn't want to run. So, ugh, the smell of burned oil. Oh, man. Wait a second, I gotta pull up the timing chain. So, sitting there, riding down the road. Oh, come on. Well, there's some scoring in there that is now coated by oil. You can kind of see it right there. Yeah, the thing ran with no oil for about like maybe a few seconds. And yeah, it, it did not, did not feel welcome. Motherfucker, oh. So I got a rebuild kit coming in. An exhaust. But, I finally got this done. No, no. Usually when people strip this, they usually lose their fuel gauge. I, I kind of need my fuel gauge, so went off and I cut out all of the lights and everything except for the few wires that go to this and the one light back there so I can see the fuel gauge at night. So, yeah, it's starting to get really nice. I've still been needing to replace this because as you can tell, it has a nice crack in it. But yeah, this is, this is my beautiful scooter, just look at it from this half. Is there any more than that? Yeah. But the thing I just showed you, y'all, yeah, don't run your motor with no oil. I didn't do it on purpose. It's just the oil leak was so bad, like, yeah, now y'all can see all that. And I only installed this thing last week. It's coated everything. I mean, like, it's rust preventative, but, man. Let's go ahead and put this thing back to top dead center. Don't worry, that sounds just the, uh... Uh... There, right there. You can see the pinion gear. Whenever I move it, rub it up against it. That's what that sound is. The only reason why I had that off is because I'm near placing a main seal on that side. The main seal on this side don't look bad, but I gotta replace my magneto. Go ahead and zoom back in. But, if you look inside the casing, it's like really oily. Yeah, you can see how shiny it is in there. I'm hoping I can pull that off. And there ain't be nothing, it's just the uh, other oil leak I had, but yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and give you all an update on the scooter. It's coming together. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of things coming to this though. Right. Hope you all enjoy. Like and subscribe if you guys want to see more. Um, I'll probably give you, since I got a job, I could probably get me like a little cheap helmet camera and I could take y'all on a ride with this thing. I obviously can't drive it right now, but... Oh yeah, and those of you who are doing this switch, like you're planning on doing it, and uh, you guys have the uh, plastic switches like these, if you want to go to these, your brake handle is going to be different. What I had to do, which this is not the right way to do it, but I got a pair of like 
pliers like those right there. Locked them on it, and I forced it off, which made it take apart, take away material, and yeah, like it's okay now. But like whenever I'm stopped or something, I'm using this. I have to push it in a tad bit more. But what I gotta do is just I'm gonna try super gluing this up a tad bit more, so that you can tell it moves. I'm gonna try like pushing it just like a hair bit. I can get that, but other than that, everything here is really good. Got the front brake set up. Yeah, I got a, a lot of play in the throttle. Oh yeah, and these right here have a little tab that's supposed to have a hole in here. What I did, so I rolled them over, and under here there is a tab, not under like this whole thing, but on the bar itself. There's a little hole in it. Put that tab over there, what you need to do is uh, you need to grab it, both hands like this, or get like a, something that you can whack it with, like a little extendable ratchet right there, and you hit right here, either which way, don't matter, and you have to do the same thing with this, because there's a hole, like right over here, and I think this right here mounts to, I don't know, but, yeah, this, a little complicated, but, Oh yeah, that was a dumbass. I took out the blinker. I think that would be really cool to have. I wired my um, high and low into both into the same one, so whenever I hit it, it will never shut off the light. You got the horn, blinkers. It's all pretty much uh, explainable by itself. You just got to match the wires together. Now, uh, the yellow light, well, the yellow wire that was in here for the headlight switch is going to be the black wire on here. And then the red and black with these is the two gray ones for the horn. I kind of learned that out. And, it, well, there's like three gray ones. One is for the blinker, and then the other two are for the horn. Um, this one right here, I really didn't have to do any wiring. I just... Uh, in the little connector, I got like a little, uh, uh, I believe it was one of my keys, yeah, I stuck my key down there, and I was able to pull out the wire, and I was able to rearrange them to the plug, but, it ain't that bad, uh, here shortly I'm gonna be getting me a, uh, uh, shoot, what is it, some mirrors, a little radio system, I'll show you guys how to install that, uh, there's actually something I would be more than willing to do, because, you gotta install it into the, I'm going to at least install it in my seat bucket. You could probably install it down here, but I already got that. I could install it over there, but I, I need, like, storage. Yeah. It unfortunately took a few bad turns in it. It's getting there, so. Hope you all enjoy. Like and subscribe if you did. Uh, mainly for future content. Uh... If you like this sort of stuff, let me know, because I'm really starting to get into the scooters. I finally got me a job, so I can't afford the, afford this. So, yeah, um, so, this is, I guess, Caddy Strong Vlog signing out.